Hi, everybody. Welcome back uh, to another week of programming. Sorry to uh, this programming uh, preview is uh, a day late. Um, we I had some trouble just kind of putting everything together this week. Uh, it just didn't sit right with me, so I wanted to make sure everything was crisp and clean and everything fit together before I released it. Uh, so let's go through. We can pretty much skip yesterday. Let's go through starting today and moving through Friday. Um, Today we're, we're uh, visiting, revisiting what we did on the 18th, um, push presses, touch and go for, for four instead of five. So we're trying to get a little heavier and then some barbell supinated grip uh, rows. And really that's more of an assistance movement. If you need to go a little bit lighter so that you can get that one second pause of the chest and really get the, the bar far back and getting those elbows back, totally fine. We just want quality movements on those. Then we're getting into some kind of anaerobic training. So that means you're basically doing the work without your body being able to uh, create new energy uh, during that time of work. So um, being able to really, uh, you know, basically build that system back up time and time again. So over five sets like today uh, is going to be crucial when we go to test something that's seven minutes nonstop. So uh, after you get done with your push press and you've been over rows, every four minutes for 20 minutes, you're going to be doing a 20-15 uh, calorie row, five hang power cleans, and three shoulder to overhead. And that's pretty, you know, that's pretty rough for, for eight reps there, 65 to 70 percent. That's, that's not light, but it is light enough for you to keep good form under stress. Tomorrow, um, a little bit longer interval, so this is more aerobic, so we're going for a little bit longer and we are working on the body's ability to create energy with oxygen, so while you're working. So for six minutes, every six minutes, for 30 minutes, uh, run a 400, 15 box jump overs, uh, 20 or 15 chest to ground push-ups, and then 25 Russian kettlebell swings at a heavier weight there. And again, the movements are not hard, we're just trying to uh, you know, stay moving. You get a little bit of rest, um, and again, we're trying to go every six minutes. If you can't, every eight minutes. If you can't hold that, every ten minutes. But something that works for you. Thursday, snatch work. Make sure you're here. I know Thursday's a uh, drop-off day for some of you, but you know it's it's hard to fit our snatch work in, so make sure that you come to the days when it is scheduled. Um, the EMOM on A, one snatch, one overhead squat, one hang snatch, is really to just kind of build the position. So we don't say power or, or full snatch here just because I know some of you are having difficulty getting into the position. So we want to just hit what you can. So if it's kind of between a power snatch and a full snatch, that's fine. Know your limits, but we're going to try and make it pretty to that point. So one snatch plus one overhead squat, getting down to that position again, and then one hang snatch. B. Uh, more touch and go snatches. So I want you to kind of carry over the form from a full snatch where you have time between each rep and it's a little heavier to these lighter, um, you know, consecutive touch and go power snatches. Um, and then a gymnastics movement, five to 10 toes to bar. So if we're opening on the even minutes, then we're closing the body on the odd minutes. And then we've just got some strength work, more bent over dumbbell rows, more dumbbell rollback extensions. If you remember those, those are kind of a skull crusher type movements. And then we're adding in a farmer's carry this week. Um, so that should be fun. And we'll do three sets of that. Then Friday, um, some gymnastic work again, uh, just some handstand holds, some hamstrings, uh, strengthening work. And I've actually, you know, divided it into two groups, advanced and intermediate. And you can kind of, you know, flip flop between the two. If you're, if you're one of those, that's kind of stuck in the middle. Um, but we just want to get some some uh, some good strict practice and also some double under practice, and then we're going to get into another one of these long EMOMs, 18 to 24 minutes, just like last week. But it's a little different: six burpees plus four to six chest to bar pull ups, eight push presses at a little heavier weight than you did for the last couple of EMOMs because it's less reps, and then 10 walking lunges, either weighted with kettlebells or dumbbells, in each hand, and those are pretty heavy. If you can, we're going to go 70 and 53 in each hand, and then we'll just work down from there if you can't. Uh, this weekend, uh, note, because of the holiday weekend, we're not going to have any classes. We will have a class on Monday, Labor Day, Monday morning, 
Um, it'll probably be early, 9 or 10, but we will let you know towards the end of the week exactly when that class is going to be held. But again, there's no, no Saturday classes. There will be a class on Monday, um, so please plan for that. Make sure uh, if you are getting in some of this extra credit work to take a look at it, please email me or, or you know message me on the Facebook group if you have any questions. Um, if not, uh, you know, and you can just go and hit it. Make sure you're staying out of the way of classes. You can, you know, either stay in the back or in the on the side where the platforms are, um, and get your work done. That's it. I hope to see everybody before the uh, holiday weekend. Remember, get your work in, get to class early, warm up. If you have extra, you know, needs as far as mobility, please hit that. Oh, and. Remember, Thursday is our first mobility class. Um, it's going to be from uh, 6.30 to 7. It's free. Uh, and RJ is going to be um, taking care of it, and she's going to be taking care of you and whatever needs you have. So you'll come um, you know, with a laundry list of whatever you think you need to work on or whatever is giving you trouble, and she will help you out. Again, that's Thursday from 6.30 to 7 p.m. See you then. Bye.